Gardeners know that throughout the summer, different plants bloom at different times, and June is when we really begin to see some eagerly awaited color in our gardens. We can count on perennials to provide a lot of that color. 207's Peggy Kaiser got a quick lesson about those plants. So it's the time of the month when we want to get a little color in our yard, and we're going to talk about some perennials today to maybe spruce things up around the yard. I'm with Tom Estabrook at Estabrook's in Yarmouth. Tell me what we got going on here. Well, let's These face are beautiful. it, June is bloom month. There you go. In Maine, all of a sudden the garden just bursts with color, and hopefully, think, <laughs> well, pretty much it's a sure bet. In June, at some point, all these things kind of start to come together. Right. You know, we've our early season stuff like for Scythia and lilacs and stuff are long gone by, but now the roadies and mm. you know all the perennials start to take shape. We get those nice warm 70, 80 degree days and things start to really grow. So, mm. okay, iris always a good one. This one Love here is those. a really nice new one called Cape Cod Boys. Okay. Isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. beautiful. Really vivid color mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. That's a Siberian iris. Of course, your native blue lupin. You know, you see all up and down the turnpike. Yeah. Those are going to be popping up all over the place. Okay. What do we got over here? This is such a beautiful foliage. This is Amsonia. Okay. Okay. Blue star. Yeah. And the nice part about this is it's a very long blooming perennial, but you get kind of this um, feathery textured that kind of blows in the wind. Yeah. I think its claim to fame is not its bloom though. It's, it's fall foliage. It's brilliant orange golden color. Nice. It just is such a nice accent in the fall. So you get a little more for your bang for your buck and there. And it holds it up lasts, yeah. wonderfully all summer long. It nice. keeps this nice shape. Nice. Salvias, this one here is a nice snow hill, but there's purples and violets and all kinds of different ones. This right. is a nice one because it's long blooming. When the flowers go by, you pick out this center okay. and you can see two more flower okay, buds are right, right behind. So, so very going. long blooming. This is geranium uh, rosanne, same thing. This doesn't look good, you cut it back, it reflushes new growth and blooms again. Nice. Okay. Roses. Yeah. June and July are rose months. So in June, you get your first flush of roses. This is Grace and Grit series rose here. Mm. How beautiful is that, that vivid red? That color and the size. These are sort of petite. I they love are. that. A lot of the shrub roses are bred not to have fragrance, though. Mm -hmm. And that's because we don't want to attract Japanese beetle. So when you're looking okay. at roses, there's two types, fragrant and non. Okay. Non will not attract. Japanese beetles. It's a trade-off, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. All right. And then dappled willow. This is beautiful. I have not seen that before. Yep. And you said that actually will get to be quite large. This is, you know, this already this year has put on almost a foot of growth. Wow. So it's going to put upwards of three feet of growth. It likes a moist soil. Um, it starts off Gorgeous. green, then goes to this white, then we'll have pink tips. Nice. You can prune it back at any time because there's no flower. Right. So you can keep okay. it small. Okay. But it's a vigorous, vigorous plant. Beautiful. And one more. I think we missed this one. Ah, yes. What's that? Milkweed. Well, there you go. Of so now is the time to think about planting your milkweed yeah. for all the butterflies. Oh, my okay? gosh. Nice so to be thinking So the about one that. thing about this <laughs> is I always recommend put it in your naturalized areas. Don't put it in your actual garden in your beds around the house. Right. Because this is going to spread. So use this in okay. your kind of native areas along the edges, maybe right. some areas that have some field areas, and then take the seed pods and spread them out into those fields and, and, and areas. But this will be kind of aggressive in your garden bed, so be careful about Got that. It. Okay, you don't want it in there. No. Good information, beautiful plants. Tom, thank you so much. You're very welcome. And we will be right back.